Hi everybody, my name is Karen, I'm with Doc Tours and I'm here at CQ University in Rockhampton today. Welcome. I'm here to talk a little bit about Doc Tours and, and what we do. We look after the medical and healthcare profession. So if you'd like to do a volunteer program in a developing country, we take care of all the arrangements for you. So we, we deal directly with the hospitals and medical clinics in those countries and we work out all the logistics of the placement. Um, we take care of all the accommodation, we arrange for you to be met at the airport, we make sure that you're safe and secure and so you can focus on your studies or your work and enjoy the experience while we do all the hard work in the background. We provide all sorts of advice and information packs to help you prepare, we give you checklists, we tell you about the visa requirements and the medical registration process in country so everything works smoothly for you. We've been in the medical profession or working with the medical profession for over 25 years and we uh, previously were op operating medical conferences in developing countries and giving people a journey and an experience that was fascinating, worthwhile and safe. So since then we've moved into the medical volunteering business and we look after all medical and healthcare professionals and students. So why volunteer overseas? That's a great question. What it does is it enhances your communication skills and you gain a, an appreciation of other cultures. You can learn about conditions, medical conditions and healthcare conditions which are less common in Australia. You're able to develop initiative and resourcefulness by working in countries with very limited resources. It demonstrates your commitment and a sense of social responsibility to future employers. You're going to gain valuable professional experience and new skills. It looks great on your resume or your CV. For those studying medicine, those medical electives or your international work experience is uh, designed to comply with your course requirements. So there's many good reasons for volunteering overseas. And why doc tours? Well, we offer fantastic service and personalised placements. We don't put you on a busload with a thousand other healthcare students. We give you a tailored, customised placement which is focusing on what, on what you want to do. We focus on the medical and healthcare sector. So we've developed expertise with dealing with those hospitals overseas. We work in fascinating destinations. We provide you with maximum flexibility so you can choose your dates how long you go for and you can choose the destination that you want to visit. And lastly, we're Australian owned and operated. Our head office is in Sydney so we're just a phone call away. So the big question is always where can I go? Cambodia is one of the most popular destinations that we have. We deal with many hospitals across the country. Um, emergency hospitals which uh, really welcome physio students, um, all sorts of medicine and uh, nursing students as well and also optometry, optometry students are very welcome. Sri Lanka again we're dealing with uh, various hospitals and they welcome all healthcare and medical students there. Timor list in uh, East Timor we deal with a medical clinic, um, they're particularly um, busy with a lot of childcare, a lot of birthing, so if you're studying midwifery or nursing uh, you'd be highly welcome there and you'd get a lot of great experience. Fiji, we all know Fiji's been hit recently with uh, a devastating cyclone, they've contacted us and they're desperate for more nurses uh, and public health um, professionals to go and help there but uh, they also welcome all medical and uh, healthcare students in, in their final years and everybody loves Fiji, it's a great place to visit and the people are very welcoming. Tanzania, a little bit further afield, uh, we work with two of the, the big hospitals there and uh, they, they really welcome students in all areas and they're very flexible on, um, and very generous in terms of rotating you through various departments so you can get some great experience. Namibia, we deal with a, a wonderful clinic, uh, it's actually a remote 
clinic in uh, in the southern part of, of Africa, um, but it's a great experience. It's uh, it's a very small clinic, so you, you you'll get to see things firsthand by working with a, a foreign doctor and a local nurse. So you'll get some great experience working alongside with them. Ecuador. Again, a fabulous destination in, in South America. However, it does require students to have uh, some Spanish speaking skills. I know not many people in Australia speak Spanish, uh, but for those that do, Ecuador is a great option. Nepal. Nepal is very, very popular with students and, and they really welcome uh, all students into the hospitals there. I was actually in uh, Nepal in January with a, a group of, of medical students. They spent a week in the hospital rotating around the various departments and then we went into the schools and we did some health checkups. Uh, they actually taught students classes in health and hygiene. So it was, uh, it was a fantastic experience for them. And here as a, uh, as a student, you might be wondering what can I actually do? Am I going to make a difference? But what, uh, what you'll be doing as a student is observing and assisting the local medical practitioners. You may be able to do some health checkups at the local schools and teaching students about health and hygiene. On the slide here you can see some students who are absolutely excited because they've just been given toothbrushes by our, our volunteers and they're also being taught how to wash their hands properly. So they were very excited that day. Some of the other things you might do is to join an outreach program. So this is where you travel out into the more remote villages to provide health care and uh, medical attention to people in, in those villages. And uh, that's particularly prevalent in Nepal where so many people live remotely and can't get to a hospital. So the staff and the volunteers go out into the villages to see them. And also as a student you may be able to attend some lectures and workshops provided by the local staff or visiting medical professionals. And so that's a, a great way to learn and add to your skill set while you're in uh, visiting that country. So hopefully that's, um, that's of interest to everybody. It is a great experience, it's a great adventure, it's a great way to, to learn more about uh, working in the health profession. So if you would like to apply or get some more information, contact us. Uh, we're here to help you. We have a lovely website, doctors.com.au, uh, so you can contact us via email, uh, by phone, and we're on Facebook as well. So that's, that's it from my side. Thank you for listening, and we hope to be able to work with you soon. And if there's any questions, um, more than happy to, to answer questions now. Okay, we've got a question online. Um, are pharmacists needed? And the answer is yes. Um, a lot of the clinics and hospitals, they, they have a pharmacy um, contained in the clinic. So yes, pharmacists are very, very welcome uh, to work with the, the hospitals and clinics in developing countries. That's a great question. Thank you. And we have another question. Um, what about law students? Um, it's a, a little bit more tricky because uh, obviously the, the law and the legal system in developing countries is, is very, very different to Australia and also sometimes the, the intricacies of the local language may be a little bit um, difficult to, to communicate as well. Um, if, you, if you'd like to go to a developing country and uh, volunteer to get that experience, we could uh, suggest going into some of the local schools. Um, all the, the students in foreign countries want to learn English. They, they need English as, as a skill set uh, for their own career and, and development. So they're desperate for uh, people like us to go to their school and help them with their pronunciation and to help them with their reading, uh, help mark their homework. If there's any students who are falling behind, um, they can get that one-on-one -on -one attention by uh, people like us helping them with their 
their English and their homework. So if you're interested in uh, the volunteer experience and you're from a non-medical background, um, helping them with their English classes is, is a great way to go. Okay, so um, I've been asked, I am both, so does that mean you're a pharmacist and you're studying law as well? And if so, that would be, yes, okay. I'm a pharmacist and I'm currently studying law. Okay, okay. So if, um, it's, it's an unusual situation. So if you want to drop us a line and we can have that, uh, that discussion um, uh, offline, that's, that's probably a better way to go. But uh, there's, there's probably a lot of interesting places we can set you up and, uh, and arrange that for you. So yeah, just drop us an email, inquiries at doctors.com.au and we're more than happy to help. <laughs>